I'm Devin Da Vinci, and these are my dreads. And with me is my homie Joe for the very first re-up episode of Da Vinci's Code. And today I bought on, I don't know if you guys remember from the first season of the Da Vinci Code. I'm gonna say season because you know, whatever. But I don't know if y'all remember from the first episode how the setup was. I always ask, I always brought people on who only can answer the one question that I have to ask them specifically, and I never tell them, you know, what the question gonna be because I want a genuine reaction when they get on the show. So, Mr. Jefferson, right? For the interest stuff, real quick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's Mr. Cigarillo Twister, a a a a mm. Mr. Jefferson, a k a Muddy Waters, mm. aka one more, Mr. Storyteller, oh. aka one another one. Okay, that's four. Usually niggas only have two. You know what I'm saying? I, I almost gave them my BKA. What are you? What is your BKA? Best known as. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what that would be? Well, for the hoes, it's the Big Dick Slinger. I thought it was Rocky Mountain Sean. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I never told him that. Like, that, that. I wouldn't even be what I would call it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so for the first episode of part de, D U E X of the Da Vinci Code, the question I have for you, Mr. Jefferson, right, is the only question I think that you can answer. Lay it on me. That question would be, what made you vote for Trump? Omega, bro. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not that fucking question. Uh, Omega, bro. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make America great again. You know what I'm saying? My question for you is, my real question is, <laughs> how do you feel about women stalking your social media accounts? That and they're not following you because I actually do have a, a situation like that, but. That's why I bought you a have a situation like that. Women yeah. are crazy. Oh yeah, no doubt about that. Nobody's ever denying that. They I don't even deny that shit. They think it's cute now. So I'm gonna say this. To me it makes no sense. No goddamn sense. As far as what? For a woman to even like stalk your social media account. You know how creepy that is, like just Nah nah, that means you got good dick. You got good dick for you old bro. You got good dick, bro. That's what Booker it team, is. Booker team. Usually. Hey, we'll put an asterisk. Bitch ain't stalking little dick niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think this, um, one, why not follow? You know what I'm saying? Then you can just see everything. True enough. You don't even have to go out of your way and right. seem crazy. You know what I'm saying? I think the worst one gotta be like Twitter because you you don't know when they online. You right. know when they see you gotta, shit. You gotta you know You really shit. gotta scroll through till you seen the last tweet or whatever because mm. you don't know what you might have missed, bro. Right? Like you tweet a lot of shit within five seconds. Yeah, that nigga Elk. Oh, that nigga Elk got Too the king, uh, bro. got Too the king. Tommy on deck. You know what I mean? That boy be letting it rip. So I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be like, I'd be thinking, I'd be thinking of random shit in my mind. But this nigga be on another level, bro. Like, I try to get on that level. Yeah, I'd be thinking some wild shit and I tweet it, bro. And niggas really, niggas uh, respond to it for some fucking reason. But um, yeah, I actually have a story about that, which is, I don't think I ever told it, but a few people know that uh, that's the reason why me and my son's mom are together at the moment. <laughs> but my shit was way wilder. Like, I've told bits and pieces of the story, but today. The first episode of New Da Vinci uh, Code. I'm gonna tell y'all what the story about how me and my baby mama broke up. Uh, I'm here for Usher. It. Usher was the reason why me and my son's mom ended things. I'm gonna tell you why. Have you ever been? These are my confessions, Usher. Nah, nah. This is uh, this is uh, walking into the church. Um. Like no, this was um. Give me the very. This was this was ninety eight Usher. This is you made me want to lead. It was oh, that. Oh, was, oh, matter okay. of fact, that was the song that ended our relationship. I tweeted those lyrics. I heard them on my Apple Music. Apple Music had just came out. Niggas I ain't gonna lie, them lyrics was fire. Bro, and I just tweeted the question. I sang that shit to a chick in uh in middle school. I tweeted about this. My mama got on the phone. It was embarrassing. She made you sing this. The no, my mama heard me sing. Oh, I was like, boy, if you don't hang this phone up, like in the middle of me 
Second At this young point, oh man, the situation I could see. I probably should have did that instead of what I did, cause I tweeted it. I tweeted the chorus, right? Yeah, you definitely. Whoever you was subtweeting, I wasn't subtweeting. But you, you just had this lyrics that you heard on Apple iTunes, and you yeah, just tweeted yeah, Like I say, I mean, the lyrics was fire. It's a fire ass lyric. That's a that classic was a song. song. Was that was fire. a great album. My fire. wife. That was a fucking great album. Fire. But yeah. apparently, she didn't know that. Right. Well, she, well, she knew that. She knew that. But she, I mean, women are. Go ahead, say. You can be problematic on her. I women know. are worse than Ace Ventura. Than Whoa! The, the Elaborate. Detective. Elaborate. Please. <laughs> he got to the bottom of the case, bro. Mm. He, he 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 was in there with the fishies. Women definitely CSI, CSI agents, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, feel I, like, I, like, I think they better, bro. I, I think they are too, bro. I feel like a woman is the head of the NSA. Cause if she, I was like if I was like head of FBI and I had a woman <laughs> before me. Mm. And I was like, you know, they 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 say, yo, Joe, you gotta interview her, mm -hmm. see if she qualified. Right. First thing I'm gonna do is be like, you don't know me, I haven't given you my name. Mm. Find my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they will find your Facebook before you leave that fucking building. Shit, in a matter of seconds. Exactly, cause that's how women operate. But the thing is, with my shit, like, like she was not following me. Right. So. I tweeted at like 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we lived together at the time. This woman came home at 7 p.m. Asked me if I still wanted to do this. I'm like, do what? Well, I'm holding my kid in my arm. We, we sitting there watching car, uh, we sitting there watching fucking Disney Channel, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That's how she room. walked in the house? That's how she walked in the motherfucking house. <laughs> After like I, a music video. Yeah. And we had upstairs, so you like she had to walk to up this? the stairs to get to the apartment. She, that's the first the thing song, she said. Hey, the instrumental just playing right now. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah. me set the tone for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. The instrumental just playing. My nigga. You still want to do this? My nigga, that was the longest argument I ever had in my goddamn life. That shit it went from cool. 7 p.m. Go ahead, sing it. Sing it in the background. This song that ended my life. <laughs> um, she, we, that's that already started at 7 p.m. It didn't end until 12 p.m. the next fucking day. She was calling people through my phone. Oh, fuck, over oh, goddamn Usher. So thank you, Usher, tried, for ruining my fucking life. I tried to this fire ass song. Feeling just too strong. You made me, made me. See, that's a classic song, right? She didn't know that, apparently. And that's the reason why me and my son's mother broke up over goddamn Usher. You make me wanna. <laughs> I'm not even joking about this shit. You can ask Mikhail. She was calling niggas in my phone, nigga. The next day, she got into it. One, I said this. This part of the story too. She got into it with one of our close friends, a young lady, a very attractive young lady, by the way. She uh got into it with her. I tell you later. She got into it with her, and um, I, I just happened to get on Twitter. This was all on Twitter. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why is... So oh, I think tweeting? I remember who you did. Yeah, yeah, like, why is she tweeting my baby mama? Like, they, I know they don't follow each other. She was like, bitch, I'll fuck... My baby mama, she was like, bitch, I'll fuck you up. Uh, I'll kill you, run up, pull up. She was like, bitch, you got my number. DM me right now. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This is crazy. I mean, me and Ara, we did text, but it was just strictly platonic as hell. Nigga, how you gonna tell me you tell me off air? I said, ah. Oh. <laughs> me and this young lady we And then nigga literally gave the name Edit that out <laughs> Me and this young lady we definitely uh, Was texting but it wasn't on no like I wanna come see you over the smash type <laughs> shit It was just on some friendly shit cause she was my friend I didn't have any women friends At the time and, and not just that She ain't going for this nigga <laughs> Oh she definitely not going for me she know I'm a nigga She know I'm a nigga So It is what it is But we cool now after that was uh I wanna say five years ago. We just got cool last year. That's a long time. You and your girl? Me or, and my or son. You and all. Me and my son. Oh yeah. <laughs> Me and my son's mom. Right. Right. So, um I mean I thought that might have put a rift between you and all, uh, you know what I mean, as far as your friends. Oh no, nah, no, nah, we still good friends to this day. Yeah, yeah. She cool people, you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah. Uh go ahead and plug some. Oh shit, you know what I mean? I got a project coming soon. I can't tell you exactly when, you know what I mean? Shit just up in the air right now. Okay. 
My boy got his own uh, version of nunchucks coming out. I changed the motherfucking game. You know what I mean? Just because a nigga out here karate chopping motherfuckers left and right. You know, I've been working on my Austin Powers. Take off like Jim Kelly. Like who? Jim Kelly. Okay. You couldn't give me a nigga. Jim Kelly is a nigga. A nigga, nigga. Oh, no. Like, I mean, I'm a coon, bro. Yeah, Jim Kelly. You was a coon. He went to the U. He was a coon. You could have gave me Ricky Williams. He hung with niggas. You could have gave me Ricky Williams or something. Like that. Mm. You want Ricky Williams? Yeah, you heard him talk? I. <laughs> Did you see the documentary on that nigga? That was a very interesting. That nigga was in the woods barefoot, bro. In the tent. <laughs> Tell me your Twitter account, man. Uh, my Twitter is non-existent. Oh, uh, it's, at, it's Mr. Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? Same as my Insta. Same as my everything for that matter. You know what I mean? You can follow your boy at uh, Mr. Jefferson TV. I think that's my YouTube. I can't even tell you that, honestly. I've been <laughs> drinking. Um, all I can tell you is this. Idle Hands is the project. It's coming soon, man. I got some uh, fire on there. You know, you got to look out for Devil, Nightcrawler. You know what I mean? I got the intro. Oh, let me tell you about the intro. You know what I mean? So, it's just some shit coming. Um, outside of that, follow Writing Rhymes with Mr. Jefferson. Um, Storytime with Mr. Jefferson. We got a few things going in the works. Uh, in the meantime and in between time. Brett. We out.